1997, 46 people died and 4,500 people were injured by chip pan fires. That simple cooking utensil can become a time bomb right in the heart of your home. In this week's 999 demonstration, we're going to show you how the wrong action can turn a small fire into an inferno. We've asked our stuntman, Mark Cass, to do the very worst thing you can do to a chip pan fire, to try to put it out by pouring water on it. To do this demonstration safely, the flames must be able to escape, so we built a kitchen set in an empty warehouse. We're going to get a pan full of oil, put it on the oven there, and wait till it heats up um, to a point where it's going to be on fire. Uh, and then we're going to pour some water on it. Hopefully, like I said, the idol of this will just raise people's awareness to the fact that chip pan fires are fairly common in the home. And uh, once they realise the dangers, that uh, they will take, take note of the message that we want to get across, which is if they find any fire, that they leave the house, having got everybody out, call a fire brigade out and stay out. There are 12,000 chip pan fires every year, and they're all caused by human error. People put too much oil in the pans, or leave the kitchen, forgetting the heat's still on. A surprising number of fires start when someone comes home from a night out, puts on the pan to make chips, and then falls asleep. The only relatively safe way to deal with burning fat is to cover the pan with a damp cloth. This is still very dangerous, and fire brigades don't recommend it. You're putting yourself at risk, and if you uncover it too soon, it will just reignite. I'm a plastic surgeon and uh, I look after the burns units and the local, the regional burn centre. And so we see the uh, the consequences of this sort of incident. And it's it's a regular occurrence. I would say it's uh, we probably get uh, someone we'd have to admit into hospital about once a month as a result of an injury from hot fat. We planned every move of this demonstration in advance. Mark is going to pour less than a cup of water on the burning pan, but it's still very dangerous. When water hits hot fat, it instantly turns to steam, expanding nearly 2,000 times. Fire stunts are very difficult because you can't anticipate, you know, fire, you can't really control it, you know, as much as you would like to. So the main thing is the preparation and having a good team of safety guys around me. Just will put me out and he'll leave a fireman with me with a CO2 just guarding me just in case I do go up in flames for some reason. And Joss will take my fire mask off as quickly as possible. This is a special gel to keep my temperature, temperature of my body very cold. I'm just going to start putting it on so I probably won't be able to speak to you very well. But it's absolutely freezing cold. The underwear soaked in this cold gel is made of the same fire-resistant fabric worn by Formula One racing drivers. Very attractive. That's the job. I'm going to put two layers of this, which is uh, fantastically resistant to heat and fire. The fat itself is very hot, and then the flames that come from the burning fat as well are even hotter. Uh, and you get this on the skin, it only needs a very short period of time of contact with the skin to give it a very deep burn. All the skin is then gone, and there is no new skin to grow, and they require skin grafting operations, and that's never as good as having your own original skin there, and you get long-term problems with scarring. More of the protective gel goes on Mark's face and head. Okay, can you take the pins out of the CO2s? This is uh, a mask which is uh, very resistant to heat. Got a little breathing area here which I can breathe through and then close when I actually do the job because obviously I can't breathe in any heat or fire and damage my lungs. The wig may look silly, but it's made of real human hair. We want to see how badly it gets burnt. Mark's also got a fireproof camera strapped to his chest. It's time to go. Everyone's standing by. No one can afford to take any chances. Right. 
demonstrate quite graphically what happens if you put water onto a fat fire you get this ball of flame which is going to go across your face and upper body and that really is like to kill you the potential for it then was really for you to have been burnt to death and anybody upstairs would be trapped in thick black billowing smoke which would very quickly fill the house yeah and we're all aware of the the effects of that sort of smoke it's devastating i mean the interesting thing for me is you know i only put in just you know hardly any water at all that pan was hardly full of you know just a few centimeters of water and it's just completely destroyed the kitchen that was a very hot fireball that intensity of heat will cook your skin. You get a full thickness burn of your skin, it would affect your hands and your face. You would get a secondary ignition of your clothing. Okay, so that would probably catch fire, which then continue on with the burning process. If that was your real hair, same would have happened to your uh, eyebrows, uh, moustache, up your nose, you would have probably breathed in that, yeah. and that would have done that to the inside of your mouth, to the inside of your nose. Yeah. Look at your clothes as well, on here. Blimey. Look at that. that. That ignited the polystyrene above you, which dripped down onto you. I mean, and burnt through all that. I mean, that is just incredible. This is just, um, well, look at that. I mean, I mean, that's what your skin would have been like. Yeah. It would have been cooked on you or peeling off you like horrible. that. Horrible. Yeah. It's absolutely horrible, isn't it? If you have a chip plant fire, don't attempt to deal with it yourself. Call us. Let us deal with it. In the long run, it's safer for you and safer for everyone in that house. When that fireball hit Mark's face, it had reached a temperature of 800 degrees centigrade. The polystyrene kitchen tiles melted instantly, showering him with molten plastic. And in a real kitchen, the fire would be much worse. The flames couldn't escape as they did in our demonstration. It all goes to show that a burning chip pan can be one of the most dangerous fires you'll ever encounter. <laughs> 